A Hamilton Microlab 600 can be used to prepare standard solutions from dry powder without the need for volumetric glassware. To begin this process, a technician touches the dry weight wizard and selects the relevant standard from a list of user configured options. Given a desired concentration and final volume, the Microlab calculates the target weight needed to achieve an exact final concentration. Next, the technician enters the actual weight of the standard concentrate on the keypad. The device then displays the final dispense volume necessary to achieve the selected concentration. Then the technician presses the button on the hand probe to initiate the dispense of diluent needed to create the standard solution. Note that all calculations and dispenses are controlled by the instrument, which increases speed and eliminates any user-to-user -user variation. This process is repeated to create all stock solutions. As the technician moves from one standard to the next, it is helpful to note that if traceability is a concern, the technician has the option to record the final weight of the standard after each dispense and then generate an electronic log file. Once the standards are prepared, the multi-sample dilution wizard can be used to combine the standards in the proper ratios to create a stock solution. The technician grabs the hand probe and the first vial, then aspirates the standard into the hand probe's inert tubing. Standards are separated in the tubing when the technician triggers the hand probe by adding an air gap between each aspiration. This prevents mixing before the standards are dispensed together. After adding the air gap, the technician proceeds to aspirate the next standard. It is important to note that the use of pre-programmed wizards improves the accuracy of the technician doing the work, without the tiresome tactics of increased sample volume and replicate sampling. After aspirating each standard into the probe, the samples are dispensed together into a stock solution vial. The standards exit the tubing first and are followed by diluent to flush through the tubing and ensure that all the standards are quantitatively transferred to the stock solution vial. The technician then caps the vials and shakes them for additional mixing. Now the user is ready to move on to preparation of the standard curve. Dilutions for a standard curve are made using the serial dilution wizard. A portion of the stock solution is aspirated into the hand probe and then dispensed into a clean vial. The diluent follows the stock solution to ensure a complete dilution and prepares the probe for the next dilution step. After completing the first dilution, the diluted stock is used as the source for the second dilution step. The solution is aspirated into the probe and then transferred to another clean vial. This process is repeated to complete all dilutions for the desired standard curve. Once completed, the technician can cap the vials and then take the standards away to storage. Once the standard curve is completed, it is time to prepare the unknown samples. In many applications, this begins with the spiking of an internal standard into each unknown. This process can be completed with a custom method programmed on the Microlabs controller. For traceability, lot numbers and sample IDs can be entered or barcode scanned at any step of a custom method. For spiking, the total volume of the internal standard is aspirated into the hand probe. Then it can be precisely aliquoted into each vial with unknown sample. Note that the technician moves quickly from vial to vial without ever having to stop and re-aspirate more of the internal standard. The touch screen also keeps track of each step of the process in case the user is distracted or loses count. After internal standard spiking, the unknown samples can be diluted for analysis by using the dilution wizard again. The technician triggers the hand probe to aspirate the programmed amount of diluent into the tubing. Then the unknown samples are aspirated into the probe and then dispensed into a new auto sampler vial. The diluent flushes the sample from the tubing 
ensuring an accurate dilution and preparing the probe for the next unknown sample. For applications with small dilution ratios or sensitivity to carryover, it is possible to add optional air gaps, wash volumes, or even use a disposable tip version of the hand probe. This process is repeated for all remaining unknowns. When the last unknown sample is diluted, the hand probe is reattached to the instrument and the sample is capped and placed in a rack, ready for the auto sampler. Contact a Hamilton representative to learn more about how semi-automation with the MicroLab 600 can streamline your analytical standards and sample preparation.